cheese? Why that cheese dripping over the side like that? Why would that cheese be dripping over the side like that? Anyways, you got that potato. YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Listen, y'all. So, listen. This, now y'all see these ingredients, right? Let me explain this to y'all. It's about to be so super easy peasy, crazy delicious. Ah, listen. Okay. So, y'all, I already went ahead off camera and, um, Bake my potato. All I do for my potato, you want to make sure for this, for this little recipe, cute idea, you want to have a nice big size potato, you guys. So all I do is take my potato, I douse it, um, and pour olive oil over it, and I use some Montreal steak seasoning, okay? Because I like my skin nice and seasoned as well as the inside of my potato. And then I wrap it in foil, and I put it right in the air fryer, y'all. So I already went ahead and cooked my potato. Right here, we have some tenderloins. This is like two chicken breast tenderloins, okay? And I just took my kitchen shears and chopped those up, okay? We're not even going to season those, excuse me, season those, because we are going to use my seasoned flour. Link is going to be in the description below. Get your life together. If you ain't got none of this flour, I don't even know where you've been. But I am going to use my seasoned flour to flour these up, because we are going to fry these up and get them nice and crispy, y'all. Okay, right here you can see some corn. We are going to cook this in some butter, add a little bit of seasoning to it, get that nice and flavorful, this canned corn. And then right here, you guys, we have a gravy packet. Now, this is my gravy packet that I have not released yet. This is some flavorful, just add water gravy, okay? So this is going to go on top of our potato. And you guys may be wondering, Teach, what is you doing? What what's going on, Teach? What 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 are we talking about here? What we're talking about is something that I ain't even come up with a name for yet. But I could tell y'all what I was thinking about is that KFC bowl with the mashed potatoes, the corn, and the chicken. I was like, why not? Just stuff a big baked potato with all that, with the fried chicken, with the with the corn, with the gravy. Like, why not? When I tell y'all this video is about to go by so quick, like, it's, it's not even going to be funny. That's why I already went ahead and made my potato for y'all already, okay? Y'all already know how to make some canned corn. Get your life. There's the flour that we about to douse these um, chicken pieces in. And this is the gravy that we're going to make last. Good morning, good night. Stay tuned. Y'all, so this is how our chicken is looking. Doused in that seasoned flour. I put that on everything. Seasoned flour, y'all. Okay, y'all better go to yayascatering.com or download our app in the Google Play Store, Yaya's Catering to order you some but you don't even need to add seasoning as y'all can see I did not add any seasoning to this I did not add any seasoning because when I tell y'all this flour is seasoned to perfection you can smell the seasoning so now you guys what we are about to do is put this in some hot grease so we can top our potatoes stay tuned Okay, y'all, family lamb. Look at that golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown. Almost ready to come out. Look at these chunks. You don't need to double batter, batter up, batter, double egg, milk. Look at that. Just look. Golden brown. I mean, y'all, I didn't even season this chicken. Can y'all see the seasoning? Come on. Do y'all see the seasoning on that? That seasoning within the flour. Stop playing. Oh my goodness. 
it's almost time. Oh, let me show y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Now, y'all know I ain't got my tripod. Hold up. Here go our corn. I don't know how you do your corn. Do your corn any way you want to do your corn. My corn, I like to add a heap load of butter and keep it real simple and use my all-purpose seasoning. When I tell y'all my all-purpose seasoning goes so good on corn and it goes so good on potatoes, mashed potatoes, that's all you need. That's all you need. As you can see, it's getting nice and hot down there. That butter, I'm about to give it a good mix. That butter is about to melt up in there. We got our chicken pieces frying that's almost ready to come out. Y'all, we about to put this together. It's It be the simple things for me. It be the simple things. Stay tuned. All right, fam and lamb. I just wanted to come back to show you guys how to use my seasoned gravy packet mix. So what I like to do, you can do it any way you want to. You don't, you know, you don't have to add butter, but I like to add the butter and add a little bit of that, you know, or a lot, depending on how much gravy you need. You know how to cook gravy? Cook it with that butter first, okay? Or that oil first or whatever, okay? And you just want to cook it for a few seconds right cook it for a few seconds a few minutes do you okay so that's what it's looking like just season season flavor okay so right so then what do you do with gravy now you can fry it longer you guys sear it longer you could if you know how to make gravy, y'all, you guys would love this, okay? So now, what do I have? Water. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. And you know how gravy go. Ooh, it's so hot. And you know how gravy go. You're going to mix it up, mix it up, mix it up until it is nice and creamy. You're gonna mix it up till it's nice and creamy. Oh, mix it up till it's nice and creamy. I'm not gonna stay on here while I keep adding water and and get it to the thickness of my liking. But y'all get the drip. Keep adding water. Whisk it up. Okay. Keep adding water. Boom. Keep adding water. I should have a whisk, y'all, but it don't matter. Or a fork. So you guys just wanna, y'all know how that, y'all know how it go. Y'all know how it go. So stay tuned, you guys. And if you guys want me to do like a tutorial of me um, making this gravy, like without any cuts or anything, like just a video with me showing you guys how my seasoned gravy works, just let me know. But you guys, all I added in was butter and a little bit of the gravy mix. And what I'm about to do, y'all already know. Smash it up and wait till it gets nice and thick. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in a minute. Stay tuned. You know what, you guys? I think with gravy, it takes patience. Like, if you don't have patience, you cannot make a nice homemade gravy as you can see y'all I'm still stirring I did not move I'm still stirring but I want you to see how it's getting nice and thick you know and like I said if you know how to make gravy you know exactly what's going on you know what's going on you know the vibes baby so that is what our gravy we don't need a lot of gravy i only made a little bit because i'm only doing one potato okay i'm only doing one potato but that is what it is looking like and i'm just smashing the lumps making sure everything is nice and incorporated making sure everything is and you know you may like i said again i said it a thousand times if you know how to make gravy you know you may need to add water or maybe you added too much water. You may need to add some more gravy mix. 
but this is looking good you guys looks like it's gonna be super nice and thick but you guys stay tuned cuz I'm making a mess see that's what <sighs> Okay, fam, this is basically this all that I wanted to show y'all. All I wanted to show y'all was the building of the potato. So, we got our beautiful potato here, y'all. Y'all go neat, or y'all might not use whatever potato you got. It's not that serious, okay? Use whatever potato you got, forget it. You ain't gotta have no big old potato. So, what I do, you guys, now... If you're just tuning in, because I realize a lot of y'all do not be watching the video. A lot of y'all just don't watch the whole video. Y'all be tuning in, asking questions that I already answered in the beginning of the video. Like, I don't know what y'all be doing. But, for those that like to tune in late, this is a potato. Okay, so what we did is wrap that up in this foil, right? And we doused it and rubbed it down with olive oil and sprinkled some uh, Montreal steak seasoning on the outskirts. So we just have a nice season. Because I don't know about y'all. I love, listen, my potato has, has to be seasoned from the outside in. Because I'm eating the skin too. I'm one of those people. I'm eating the skin. So what I did, you guys, is air fried this, right? For maybe about an hour and a half, I air fried it, right? Wrapped up in the foil. And so it's nice and tender. So what I did is made a slit here and a slit here, okay? I made a slit vertically and horizontally. So now all I'm going to do is just take it and push it open. When you cut it like that, you can just take it and push it open and make a pouch. Nothing major, okay? So boom. So I will see how I'm pushing it open, y'all. Let me just wrap that. I'm gonna wrap that foil nice and cute around there like that. Boom. So what I was gonna do, y'all, and let me make sure you guys have a good view. Oh, yep, y'all got a nice good view still. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So let me get y'all an even. Okay, there y'all go. So what I was gonna do, y'all is melt some, uh, make a cheese sauce. Then I was like, mm, nah, I'm not gonna make a cheese sauce. I'm just gonna sprinkle some cheese over there, put it in a broiler. You know, it's so many different ways. If cooking is fun, this is exactly what I'm saying. It's so many different ways, okay, that you could do this. You could sprinkle cheese, you could put like a nice little cream cheese sauce, however you wanna do it. So, what I'm about to do, is go in with my buttery corn. Now listen, I like to drain my corn and I like to cook it in butter. And I love using my own seasoning blend. See that butter? See that? That's seasoned and that is butter, okay? So, we are about to go in just like that. See, that's why I don't have to, that's why I'm not even going to add no um, extra butter to this. So, let me open this a little bit more. Open it a little bit more, a little bit more. So now we got our corn, right? Buttery, buttery seasoned corn, okay? Now, after that, remember those beautiful fried chicken pieces that we made? That we chopped up and fried? Here they go. Look at that. Like what? Like it's nothing to talk about. Look at it. Let me get. Hold on. Look at this. Seasoned. Crispy. Chicken. See that? That's going to go right on top of that. Okay. So now. Let's add in our chicken pieces. You don't need a lot. Oh my gosh, y'all, and this is go, ooh, such an easy, cheap dinner. I use, I think, two chicken tenderloins to make this. Two chicken tenderloins, two. Okay, so we got our corn down there. Okay, so we got our corn down there. I hope y'all can see it. Now what I'm about to go in with is 
this Italian. Now, listen. Don't y'all be don't be cut. Don't let me tell y'all something. Use whatever cheese that you want to use. Your house, your family, your rules, your cheese. <laughs> so this is Italian cheese blend. So this is mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, asiago, fontina, and romano. Let's go in with that. Don't gotta be pretty, just go in with it. You know what I mean? Not a lot, you don't wanna overpower things, okay? So, after that we going in with some sharp cheddar, what is this? Uh, uh, cheddar and Monterey Jack, y'all. Cheddar and Monterey Jack blend. What? Just like that. I don't want to do. I don't want to do too much with the cheese. I don't want to do too much with the cheese. So now, you guys, what we are about to do? Let me see. That's an up close. Beautiful, beautiful potato. See that? Chicken. Corn underneath. I'm going to top it with some more corn, y'all, when I add on the um, gravy. Because I'm going to add the gravy last. But what we're about to do is get that cheese all nice and melty and bubbly. So, y'all, let me... And, and I, what I'm about to do is put this under the broiler, you guys, okay? I'm not rebaking it. I'm putting it underneath the broiler just until my cheese is ooey gooey fresh and dope all right, YouTube fam, here we go. You got that potato, that cheese. Why that cheese dripping over the side like that? Why would that cheese be dripping over the side like that? Anyways, you got that potato. What? Cheese? You got that potato. Creamy potato. You got that corn. You got that crispy seasoned fried chicken. This is like a nice, delicious, homemade KFC bowl, but you just got a baked potato. Look, let's go over here. What's going on on the back side? Ooh, just a whole bunch of goodness. Y'all, see, it be fun recipes that I like to make like this. This is what, see, this is why I like, they got that gravy. Got that gravy. You know, it's more gravy on deck. You know, if you want to douse yours in gravy, go on right on ahead. Go on right on ahead and douse it in gravy. Oh, that's just flavor. Flavor and flavor. But you guys, let me get y'all. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, when I tell you, if you don't eat this and you ain't stuffed like a turkey, I don't even know what to tell you. Oh, boy. I swear. Uh, I don't know. I just, I really just don't know. I don't, y'all play too much. And yeah, I cooked it, but y'all play too much. Having me doing stuff like this. Showing y'all my little uh, secrets and things. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Oh my goodness. So, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. That's all. Sorry. Calm down, Teach. Shut it down. Shut that down. Calm down. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much for tuning into this video, y'all. I cannot wait. I swear I cannot wait to see y'all in the next joint. Everybody stay safe. And stay blessed. Mwah.